today we are starting a very, very fun video that I'm very excited about. We are going to be building and organizing and decorating all of that fun stuff, my dream library. So you might ask, you have bookshelves right here. I do. I do, in fact. But this middle one, we don't actually have room on every single shelf. Like these two shelves are basically unusable because if you didn't know this, when you move Ikea bookshelves, they break. So this shelf, these two shelves right here are broken. And if I put too much weight on them, they uh, fall apart. So we have two of our five Billy bookcases here now. Also, if you didn't know this, Billy bookcases, at least in Atlanta, are like extremely hard to find. I've been searching the website for four months, stalking it. Haven't been able to find any. I got two of them and the other three should be in stock tomorrow. So, and then these ones, I'm gonna put some B-roll here so you can kind of see the situation. So these two are not Ikea bookshelves. They're like very sturdy, very good bookshelves. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint these white so that way I don't have to get rid of two perfectly good bookshelves. And I'm gonna kind of do a wrap around. So that is the plan. I have essentially forced my husband to start building these with me today. Um, he's not, he's getting wings in return though. So I mean, you know, he's getting something out of it. And then we're gonna get a little chair right here. And I'm just very excited. We also, you can see some of the decoration things that I got today while I was also at Ikea. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited. So let's get into it. Okay, but I am so excited. I do have to start off and say that the lighting is going to be atrocious during this video. It is currently 7.02, but I'm too excited to wait until tomorrow. Well, we're going to Braves game tomorrow and the next day I'm planned, so that's not happening. But I can't wait three days to not fill this. Like, that would be crazy. Um, I, like, can't even get all of it in the same shot because of how much room I don't have that way. But I have a little... Um, clip that I'll put in here. So this next part is going to be me organizing it. So here's the kind of layout that I'm thinking. So one of these whole shelves, I mean, it was, it was shorter, but one of these, an entire shelf was my literary fiction. And then I had like random shelves going everywhere else that were other things. But what I think I'm gonna do is I think I wanna do the, liter the literary fiction, the general fiction, like horizontal, because everything else is gonna be horizontal, if that makes any sense. So I'm thinking of trying to see if all of these, if everything fits with all of these, these three middle ones. And I have a smaller one over there, and if it fits that way too, like if there's enough books, I'll do it there also. And then that's all I got. I think I want to do, I don't know if I want to do like throwing a glass on one of these shelves and kind of have them more displayed. And then like a guitar in one of these shelves and have them more displayed or if I want to have them all in one. I don't really know how I want to do that yet. Um, we're just going to kind of see, I have all of these books spread across our house. So I have all of my generary, generary all my literary and general fiction here in this room so I'm gonna do that first and we will go from there but I am so excited it looks so good you will see in the clip 
There's our bookshelves. shelves. I know I mentioned that we were gonna paint that white, but in the middle of us doing it, Joe just looked at me and he was like, I ordered the other shelf. So that's getting delivered on Sunday because we don't wanna have to drive all the way up there. So that, there will be an extra clip at the end of this that will be putting that shelf up and organizing it. And so things might change a little bit, but tentatively, this is how it's gonna go. I also wanna get a chair and set it right in the middle there. So the chair being there, I'll also have to be, look, it's gonna be a work in progress, but for right now, we're just gonna get things set up how we think they might go. So very, very exciting, and let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so we have all of the literary and general fiction up. You can see that there's like a few um, spaces. Um, and it doesn't go all the way to this one. I did that because what happened the last time how it was set up, because I keep everything alphabetical order on that, is every single time I write a book, I had to find out where it was supposed to go and then move every single thing. So I'm hoping that this will kind of make it so that in the beginning at least, I'll only have to really move everything on one shelf, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna have to do planning for everything else. And I did put a little decor situation over here, but I think I'm gonna wait until everything is kind of up and then kind of do that. But we'll see what happens. Like, okay, yeah, that's hot. Assassin's Blade is third, no one comes for me. Okay, so they start to get chunky. Kiki has my, um, Kingdom of Ash. Okay, but it starts to look kind of funky. But I like how that look, like these colors are so beautiful. You know? Like, you gotta display them. Oh, that sketch. Freaking heck. I'll figure it out. Like, don't you guys worry. Also, I'm mostly, I want to out her bangs right now. Also, if this, if Actar the next one releases in a hardback, I will have very, very strong opinions about it. I'm all going to say. Ass. <laughs> I did it! I'm really proud of that copy of Rebecca. this completely this is my mom's original copy of the shining and look at what has happened to this <laughs> like that's so horrendous but it looks cool if you just look right there and don't look anywhere else is that better oh i kind of hate that that's better i hate the overhead light okay whatever we'll use it 
Greek mythology tell retellings really stay in the same color scheme. The plan is, is that I want the chair to be kind of in this little corner. So I feel like I don't really need to fill up this space right here and like half of that. That's what I'm thinking. I think I want to do an Emily Henry shelf over here. I do have a signed copy of her new book coming. I'm very excited about it. Um, but for now, I think it's just going to kind of look like that until we get it. And then I think I want to add some variety. I think I need to have some stacked horizontally. What do you think? I'm thinking this kid might. So let me pause this. I'm like really acting like I'm not filming this right now. I just have this going on in the background. Okay, so I think I want to have fantasy up here. Um, the thing is with some of these, when I do these up close shots that you'll see, is that really the only thing that is strictly alphabetical order is the general fiction and literary fiction. Everything else is kind of like how I think it looks best <laughs> on the shelf, if that makes any sense. So, I think we're going to go ahead and do that one next. Okay, so eventually I will have to separate this from YA, adult fantasy, all of that stuff. Eventually I will have to, but today's not that day. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is done. We are officially done with making, decorating, organizing, everything, all the bookshelves. I am so excited. They look so, so great. I come in here and I just want to like, I want to do everything in this room so that I can look at them. I just love them so much. So now is the time for the tour. I'm not going to go through and say like every single book that I have, but I am going to kind of show how I organized it and if that makes any sense. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm so excited. I hope you guys love it. Okay. So like I said, I'm just going to kind of go shelf by shelf and kind of give you guys an overview of what I have. I will kind of show you real quick the area that we're working with. It wraps all the way around to right there. We do have space to fit another small one, but I still have one, two, three, eight unused, oh, nine unused shelves. So we're just going to hold off on that. So up here we have my mom's um, copy of The Shining that I stole that uh, like the spine is kind of messed up. I don't know if you can kind of see it right there. I think I showed it earlier. And so I kind of just wanted to display it like that to kind of keep it safe. And then we have that little llama thing that has a very funny story to me and my friends. And then down here, we just have, like I said, I put um, my Narnia and my Tolkien next to each other because, you know, besties got to keep them together. And then we kind of put an art print right here just to take up space. All of the artwork that is in frames is going to be by Nat Anderson. And then here we have my Emily Henry. I'll probably move it to one of these shelves over here when I get my new signed copy of her book that's coming out but I kind of just put it right there to take up space. And then here we have all of my memoirs and then blank shelf. And then up here, you can see these two right here. I have my Akatar and my Throne of Glass. And then all of these middle shelves right here, these six are all of my general and literary fiction. And I wanted it to go horizontal. So kind of have this shelf and that shelf and then you can see I kind of left room so instead of like moving these right here I left it like that so that when I put a new book on here alphabetically I don't have to then move every single other one over if that makes any sense so then I just have like a random you know camp memorabilia from when I worked there and then all of these um, little flowers and candles that you'll see on here are from Ikea, as well as all of the bookshelves. 
So again, literary fiction, general fiction, and then all oh, my lonely to Colleen Hoover books. And then we have this right here. So this is kind of where it ends. So as you can see, lots of room to grow with this genre. This is from At Home. Again, not Anderson. And then these are Joe's little awards that he won while he was in nursing school. You gotta give him some credit, you know what I mean? Okay, so then coming back over here, we have my classics shelf. And then down here, we have my romance and then a picture from Joe and I's wedding. And then down here, we have some random Bible studies that I've done, Christian fiction, apologetics type like books. So then right here, this plant is also from Ikea. I kind of went ham in there. These are all of my Greek mythology retellings, except for you can see I have the Odyssey right here and a witch's heart, which is actually Norse mythology, but you know, you get the point. And then down here, we have all of my thrillers and then some Stephen King and then blank shelf. And then right here, we have my um, little three, per three book collection of sci-fi. Those are the only three sci-fi sci books I have. Little um, framed Polaroids of me and Joe at Disney, TBR jar, and little Baby Yoda's there just chilling. I've kind of played around with where to put him, and I think he's just going to kind of hang tight right there for a little bit. So then we have the little shelf that's sitting in the corner. The only thing that's kind of irritating is that, so these floors, this house was built in the 60s. So these floors are a tad bit uneven. So I can't get this to be flush with that. But you know what? It's really something only I'm gonna notice. So I just need to get over it, but. And then up here, we have a kind of little de de uh, decor area to kind of take up space. Picture from camp little um, Ikea flower and candle. We have my Crescent City. And then we have Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. I love these covers. I think they're gorgeous, even though they're not my favorite books. They, the second one is phenomenal, but even though not my favorite, I still wanted to display it because I think that the covers are gorgeous. So then here, we have the last shelf right here. This is kind of all of my favorite childhood books. So like I, I think I mentioned this in another video, but I got rid of all of my like Mortal Instruments books and I kind of regret it, but we have Divergent, Hunger Games, all of my Harry Potter, I have a few UK covers up there and then a few random YA books. And then, oh, I forgot to come up here. Sorry, forgot about this shelf. So this shelf, we then have all of fantasy. So I haven't split up YA fantasy and adult fantasy, and also one could argue that The God of Endings, The Invisible Life of Addie, Addie LaRue, and even like some of the Olive Blake are more like magical realism than, fa well, these two are kind of magical, I don't know. It's, they're not really separated like high fantasy, romanticy, like whatever, they're not really separated like that because I don't have a huge fantasy collection. So once I get more and I have to move over to move to other shelves, I will definitely break that up. So then we just kind of have an empty shelf up top. And then here we have my entire physical TBR. So this is not like my monthly TBR. Those books are in another room. And, but this is all of the TBR books that I have right here. And I think I want to make a rule for myself that I can't go above one shelf of a TBR. Let's see how long that lasts. And then here again, art print by Nat Anderson little flowers and vases, and then an empty shelf. So that is it. I am so pleased with how these turned out. Okay guys, so that was the tour. Like I said, I am so pleased with how this turned out. I love it in here. I love this. I think that it just brightens the room. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I used to have wooden ones. And I just feel like this really just brightens up the space and makes the colors of the uh, covers pop. And I'm just so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so glad that I stalked that Ikea website for like four months to find these. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys next time.